Hey guys, Tim here from Droid Lab. Today we are taking a look at the software features on the all new OnePlus 2. So in this video will take place uh, instead of the tips and tricks video that we sometimes normally do for big devices. And that's simply because OnePlus, what they do is they ship the device with what is essentially a custom ROM on top of Android 5.1.1. So in a custom ROM, there's a ton of things you can change. So really, instead of kind of going over tips and tricks, we're basically just going to give you a full software tour and everything that OnePlus bakes into the device for you to play with. So let's get right into it. The first thing I wanna show you is the lock screen functionality and the gestures you can do. Um, so of course, you see that on the bottom here, we have a beautiful fingerprint reader. And when that is enabled, even when the device is sleeping like this, the display is off, you can simply place, place your thumb on the reader and it will very quickly just unlock the device. You don't have to wait the display to sort of you know, kickstart the fingerprint reader. It's always sensing it. So if you need quick, uh, quick access to the device, just place your thumb on there and you're good to go. Um, next are gestures on the lock screen. So I've already enabled these. You can enable and disable them. Um, if there's one you like or don't like, you can choose. So there are controls for music playback, there's a shortcut for the camera, and there's also a shortcut for the camera. So on the lock screen, display is turned off, you can draw a V, and that will uh, uh, quickly toggle on the flashlight, as you can see right here now there is a light at the back of my hand. And again, you can just draw a V, and it will turn off the flashlight. So definitely a nifty little uh, hand, handy thing if you don't want to turn on the screen, pull down the notification shade hit the toggle for flashlights, a total pain sometimes. So right there, draw a V. I don't know why V for flashlight, but I guess it's better than drawing an F. But uh, the next one is if we draw a circle on the lock screen, that opens up the camera app. Uh, very quick launch. Uh, it's only about a second delay, so not too bad at all. And unfortunately, you, know, you can't draw another circle to lock it back up or anything, but uh, it is there. Also, as you can see, I have music there turned on, but the music is paused right now. That is because from the lock screen, when the display is turned off, I can draw kind of that pause symbol with two fingers down, and then we'll start playing the music. So you can pause the music, play the music, um, anyone you want. Also, while the music is playing, you can draw an arrow for skip, and that will skip to the next track. So right here, oh yeah, we got some Metallica going, so. I'll quickly press pause since, you know, of course we're doing a video and I can't rock out all day. So that's paused. That is it for the lock screen. Um, of course, you can, uh, in a, uh, to enable the fingerprint reader, you do have to have a secondary like passcode or a passphrase or um, the pattern unlock enabled. So just when you set up the device, you know, make sure to set up one of those and then you can enable the fingerprint reader. Uh, going on to the home screen now, uh, to get into the home screen settings, uh, since this is not um, the Google Now launcher, even though it kind of looks like it, um, you will long press on the home screen here. And right down here in the bottom right, there is a button for settings. So if we hit that, um, what is nice about the launcher is that it allows for third-party custom icon packs, which are downloadable from Google Play. So I have a few installed. Right now I'm just running the default, but say if we wanted to do fresh, you just hit that. You can hit back home. And then as you can see, my icons have switched from the default to the fresh icon pack. And it will carry over into the um, app launcher, as you can see. Like, that's definitely not the stock Facebook or Gmail application icon. So it's definitely a nice little touch. And, and since they do support all of the third-party icon packs that are on Google Play, then really the customization options are endless. You can also tweak the app drawer grid size from that same page. We'll get back in there. And that allows you to change it up from the standard 4.4 to a 4x3 to a 6x5. And so that allows you to have uh, bigger or smaller widgets, more icons on your home screen, whatever you want to do. This is also where you enable and disable shelf from. And shelf is sort of a, it's an odd little feature, but it can be handy for those who don't want to go diving into the app drawer and, you know, dive in the, through the home screen for widgets and all that. If you swipe to the right with shelf enabled, you'll open up this secondary page here. And at the top, it will show you the temperature, which is uh, your current location. You can't set the temperature, I don't think, from anywhere else. It's only your location. You can set frequent apps, frequent contacts, as well as a widget. Um, this is all changeable. You can customize it. You can disable some of these things. If you hit on the little pencil there, 
you can um, disable anyone you want or but I already have them all enabled you can add so say we can add an additional widget say if we want a Gmail widget you can choose your account etc etc so me personally I didn't find much use for shelf so what I do is I simply just disable it and then right here you can change the temperature unit for the uh, temperature that is shown in shelf so and when this is disabled and you swipe to the right no go nothing there so moving on we will dive into the settings here and the settings is actually quite nice um, oneplus grants you the ability to change the overall kind of theme of the device so down here we will go into customization and you can toggle on a dark mode or toggle on this light mode this is sort of that stock look but the dark mode will black out the device so I'll show you what that looks like so now as you can see it is dark all of the settings menu is dark but on top of that say if we don't like this dark and gray we can actually change the accent color you can choose between gray pink yellow green red purple orange and blue um, there's no actual color co color pixel which uses like a hex code or anything like that you just have to choose one of the predetermined ones so say I'm a big Giants fan I want to go dark and orange and so now that'll change the accent color and so now all the settings and little shortcuts there are going to be orange so definitely nice it also changes it uh, up in here too in the notification shade which is a very nice touch um, for anyone you know who wants to rep their team or rep their states colors or whatever um, definitely something to try out um, a big one which is kind of exclusive to OnePlus devices is the ability to go from on-screen buttons to capacitive buttons you know since you already have this hump here uh, with the uh, home button and the fingerprint reader you might as well throw in capacitive and give yourself some more screen real estate that at least that's what I've been doing so to do that we hop into the settings menu and then right here under device it says buttons and so right here it says on screen navigation bar it's toggled on so we can toggle that off and now and that turns on the capacitive buttons down here so now we have our back button on the um, back button on the left side and then multi apps um, you know kind of your app switcher there on the right side but you can swap those buttons so now back button is on the left and multiple applications is on the left side moving on also in that button thing you can set long presses for each of these and you can uh, select shortcuts to so say if you want to open up the camera do a voice search or open shelf you can long press on any of these buttons and that's also doable when you have the on-screen buttons too it just it's all user preference if you want to have that extra screen real estate or not I personally um, I'm so used to on-screen navigation buttons that I've been using them although I will swap the buttons and you know it's just little tweaks like that that really make um, help you make the device your own and so down there in the settings menu I was already showing you those lock screen gestures under device and under buttons that is where you hit um, the gestures for the lock screen uh, m moving on the last little piece of t uh, information that I will share is that the grid up here the system toggles um, the they are customizable in the sense where you can change the order of them so right down here up in the upper right hand side there's this little quadrant so you tap on that and now all of these toggles are movable and so basically this was that uh, toggle UI switcher that was sort of a developer option that wasn't enabled um, in the Android M previews but so now OnePlus has baked it in so say if you want to quickly invert the colors on the device you can have that toggle up here chain you know where you want flashlight up there instead of down there all little things you can do you can also reset it to the uh, system default which uh, I think it's a pretty good setup although I will show you what invert colors does and we'll just save that now we can invert colors and really what it does it, it literally inverts all of the colors on the uh, device I don't know if it's the most useful thing I think it really depends on what type of uh, icon pack you're using of course and you know the kind of system setup you're going for so we will revert the colors and that's about it you know in in terms of the customization there's a lot you can do with the themes and I love a few of the lock screen shortcuts that you can perform that's a super big deal but in terms of being a kind of a, a custom ROM it doesn't offer all that much although it is speedy and it is so far reliable thanks to a recent um, OS update that it received with the oxygen OS from OnePlus so that's about it for the software tour of the OnePlus a lot of fun little features definitely a fun little device to use uh, but if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down in the uh, comment section below. And until then, we're Joy Life. Peace.